Let's take a look at something you've probably not given a second thought to lately, Spanish moss. It's neither a moss nor Spanish. It was given that common name because it looked like the beards of the Spanish conquistadors, although they were not too fond of this name and tried to give it another name that did not stick. One thing that is really unique about Spanish moss is that it is an epiphyte, which means that it gets all of the nutrients that it needs, even water it soaks in from the air around it. So it doesn't take anything from the tree, um, although it can be damaging if you get too much Spanish moss in a particular tree, uh, because when it's wet, it can get really heavy and might break the branches or keep the branches from being able to move in the wind. Um, but it is not parasitic, so it's not stealing anything from the tree uh, and damaging it in that way. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out to you right now is that it's actually flowering right now, our Spanish moss. So you can see these tiny yellow flowers starting to form, which is something you might not have noticed about our uh, Spanish moss before. And that also has makes these seed pods looking things um, after after it gets done with its flower um, and right now really the only uses that we have for Spanish moss are in flower arrangements but um, historically it was actually harvested especially uh, by women and children it was a really good job to make some money for women and children during times when they were not really allowed to work outside of the home and it was used to uh, fill as a stuffing for furniture and even automobile seats. Some of the early Ford vehicles used Spanish moss as the cushions, as, as some of the cushioning. One of the reasons why we find this plant so abundantly in our area is because of the moist climate in which we live. And you might notice that you do see it quite often in our large live oak trees that we talked about in one of our earlier videos. You see lots of it in our in our oak trees and one of the reasons for that is because those live oak leaves stay on the tree all year long and so they are completing photosynthesis all year long and while we think of photosynthesis as being great for us because the a byproduct is oxygen there's also water vapor that's released in the photosynthesis process and so Spanish moss is able to intake a lot of the water vapor that it needs when the leaves are uh, off-putting the little bit of water vapor during the photosynthesis process. So live oaks are really great for the Spanish moss and that's why one of the reasons why you see them most frequently in those trees. Although they can uh, host in any, in any tree um, or sometimes we've even seen on, on power lines and fences and things like that uh, because again they're not parasitic, they're not taking any uh, vitamins or nutrients or anything from the tree itself. Um, they get everything they need from, from the air.